fuck Halloween, I ain't been right since And I don't give a fuck, fuck all my fake friends from the beach Cause they don't give a fuck And fuck all of North Carolina Cause they don't give a fuck about me or my fucking problems Who really gives a fuck? I've been standing in line for so long, waiting to die I've been standing in line for so long, hoping to die I don't give a fuck about my- Alright, we're from Port Cleveland Metal Scene and we're here with Dr. Dreadful I'm gonna have you guys introduce yourselves as like half of the band Alright, I'm Rachel, I do guitar and vocals And I'm Jake, I'm the uh, new bass player Cool. How did you guys like playing the night? Okay, it was cool. Awesome. <laughs> it was fun. Um, it was. It went pretty well, and it was really cool getting to open for Mushroom Head, and we just saw One Eye Doll for the first time. Ooh, first really time. Really liked them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is your band's message? Um, most of the lyrics are more like for fun. It's horror rock, so it's about killing people or necrophilia. Um, I don't know if there's really a there is band a family message. wholesome message in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> I think it's just trying to make good music that people like and a way to express myself. As a band, like, what is your biggest pet peeve? Um, David needs to be here for yeah. that one. <laughs> we miss you, David. Yeah. My, my problem is uh, just if there's equipment issues, that's not it. Normally that's user error. What is your favorite song that you guys play live? Um, for me, it's a toss up between the dead regime. <laughs> I also enjoyed when you guys come like that screen on the Wednesday 13th show. That was yeah. cool. That was one of the best shows we played on Wednesday 13th. <laughs> that was still I, I felt that yeah. intro. Oh yeah? Yeah. It was great. Thank you guys so much. Let's see. Where do you see your band in three years? Um, hopefully still playing and making music, but doing it for larger crowds and having more people know who we are. I like us in the West Coast area. It's just a broader spectrum of places to yeah. um, see all the different places we can branch out and all the connections we can make out everywhere else. What bands did you guys grow up listening to? I grew up listening to classic rock, uh, Guns N' Roses. It really got me into being in a band. And, uh, you know, like Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, ACDC. And then I started getting into The Damned and Misfits, and that's what got me into horror music. Uh, for me, it was Metallica, uh, Ozzy, Nirvana. Cool, that's not a reason. No, those are good bands. Those are good bands. Yeah. <laughs> It was my mom's choice, <laughs> so um, uh, growing up on the West Coast, like a lot of Alice in Chains and Pearl Jam and the whole drum scene and all that stuff, you know, really got into the whole goth metal scene out there. So your band's name, Dr. Dreadful, were there any other names you considered first or was it like, I want this name? Well, uh, the band actually started out as the Tombstoners. Our original drummer came up with it. Um, after he left, we changed the name. We just kind of like thought of words that <laughs> oh, we liked. Like, dreadful was one of those words. And then we came up with Dr. Dreadful and later realized it was a toy. <laughs> yeah. My nephew has a Dr. Dreadful. Yeah, we got, um, one or, of the games, it's like scabs and something. We haven't played it yet. We're supposed to play it as a band, but 
it well, hasn't happened. He had a Dr. Dreadful. All we've got left of it is, like, the bottom jawbone. Oh, okay. Like, half of it from where the jaw splits out that spits <laughs> to goop. It's like, okay. <laughs> what influence go into, like, writing your own lyrics? Just, like, the lyrics? The um, personal experiences. Some of them are personal experiences. Um, the ones, like, it's not necrophilia, if it's undead, that's just... Something that's a fun. One. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's just something fun. A lot of them are just things I think are funny, like taking weird things like murder, zombies, vampires, and just like making a song that's funny to me out of it. What's the biggest show that you guys have ever been to? Not necessarily like, played, but just been to. For me, ACDC. Ooh. That was a great show. <laughs> That was my first show, actually. Uh, Alice in Chains and Bell Revolver. I'm jealous. Yeah, I can't yeah. talk to you anymore, so I'm just <laughs> jealous. Like, I just feel like jealous, and it's just like raining any off. <laughs> but no, I'm not your call. Continue. Yeah, again, that was that was my first show, too, and my mom had actually taken me to that one. That's... Rough yeah, cool. Just, <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Fast cars or motorcycles. Person. Yeah, I'm definitely more of an Aberdeen Diablo. Alright. Mary Fuck Killed. <laughs> um, Dick Cheney, Rebecca Black, and Jason Voorhees. How do you answer that one? Everyone has to think about it. They're like, <laughs> What were the options on all of them? I think... Marry, fuck, or kill Dick Cheney, Rebecca Black, and Jason, Vo Jason Voorhees. I don't think I'm actually allowed to answer that on camera <laughs> because one of those is a political figure, so... <laughs> Freedom of speech! Yeah. <laughs> to a point. <laughs> to yeah, a point. We'll go with no answer on the first one. Uh, probably kill on the second one, and... Well, that's a friend, Jason. That's close enough to marriage. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a civil union. No actual okay. interaction. This battery is gone. We have to end this. Alright, All right, thank you guys. Thank Dr. You. Dreadful, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks. We will get a full interview once we hop down over the last one. Alright. I love your smile for love. Rotten teeth, oh baby. What it does to me Wanna feel the touch of your Cold gray skin against me Oh baby get against me I don't care what they say about zombies Cause this one loves me More than any reason Yeah, I lost a fucking